okay so this is my iphone that you see here it's currently on the latest software update from apple so if i go into settings go to general and go to about you can see that i'm on ios 16.1 at least the first beta but this update has an issue that i want to show you how you can resolve it or at least try to mitigate it so if we go into the software update page you notice this pop-up unable to check for update maybe i'll just put uh, remove dark screen so that you can see uh, better so you can see here if i go there it says unable to check for update this always occurs if i close my settings app go into settings and then go to general again and go to software update boom the same pop-up always comes up again and again and so in this video i'm going to be showing you how at least you can try and overcome or mitigate this okay so when this keeps on happening the first thing that you want to do is to basically power cycle your device so you can see the time that it's seven o'clock exactly so i'm going to go ahead and power off my device or power cycle my device and then try and update again so let me do this quickly and then i'll give you an update shortly okay so our device is back on you can see 701 if i try to unlock it automatically asks me for the passcode let me quickly go ahead and do that so now you can see a bunch of stuff are starting to load up my widget my subscriber widget my location is off so my weather won't show so if i go into the settings and then go to general and go to software update you see the same issue is still there so unfortunately this did not fix the issue or the bug so we have to try some other means usually when a bug like this occurs it usually means that there's a problem or a settings that glitched out on apple servers so again you can see that this issue keeps on occurring and what you can do right again like another secondary option is to basically go into your settings and then change your date and time from manual so we'll go into general right here and then we'll go to where it says date and time and once you do this you can see mine is set automatically so we'll go here and then we'll turn off automatically date and then we'll come here to the T the time doesn't really matter that much so we can set like instead of saying september 15 which is today we can say like the day before we updated to ios 16.1 so for example we can say tuesday september 13 right there and then we we'll set that as our date right there and you can see our focus mode went off because well we just removed the time frame that it's supposed to be scheduled for it but once you've done this you can try again go into your software update and if this keeps on occurring most probably it has to do with the servers on apple's end so you can see even though i've changed the date and the time it still is a bug that's showing up i'm leaving in the past today's thursday but it's showing tuesday but before sometimes this used to work but now it seems like it's not working another option that you can now try once the second method has failed is to basically remove the developer or beta profile that you have on your device so if you go into your settings and then you go to where it says device management so vpn and device management right there click on it and then you can see the ios 16 beta software profile if you click there you see you have the option to remove it so click remove your profile and then input your passcode just like that and accept to remove the profile and restart your device so that it automatically clears the whole profile and gives your profile a refresh so let's quickly do this and then i'll show you what we can do after that our device has just turned on now if we go into settings and then go to general and go to device management you can see that we don't have any ios 16 profiles now that's something that's good let me just put on my focus mode back on so now if we go back into our general and software update it actually won't be able to check for an update 
because we don't have for the profile but even though the profile has been removed you can see that this is an issue that's still here currently so now let's go back and download the ios 16 profile you can get the profile by logging into the apple developer page or public beta page and you can see there we have ios 16.1 beta so we'll click install profile and then allow and you can see it's been downloaded into the settings and we go need to go and review so close this then go back into your settings let's cancel this and we'll go to where it says vpn and device management you can see the profile and then we have the option to install in the top corner right there so we we'll input our passcode and then we'll in the read the instructions and then click install the profile and boom our profile has been reinstalled and now let's restart our device and see if this fixes the issue so our device has just turned on now so we'll go into settings and then after we do this we'll go to general and go to software update give it a moment you see the same error keeps coming back try again keep trying until you see this clear you can see that it's not clearing at all so let's go back and set our date and time to auto so date and time set it back to automatic and then we'll give it a moment you can see that it's now set so now if we go into general and do a software update you can see this issue is still there okay so if worse comes to worse and you've made sure that you've tried all the steps i've mentioned and this is not working for you and irregardless of your attempts this bug keeps on showing there is a way that you can restore your device and that is a more advanced way because you will need to connect your iphone to a mac or to a pc computer that has itunes and once basically your device is connected you can download an ipad PSW file and then downgrade your device from iOS 16.1 to the last signed update. So how do you know which is the last signed update? If you go to this website, you can see this is the Apple developer page. So developer.apple.com. That's the official Apple page. And then you go to the last signed update. You can see that all these are betas, betas, and these are betas as well. So go to the one that says iOS without the beta right here so ios 15.7 you can see we have it right here and you can see that uh, i have the option to be able to choose the iphone that i have and then um, i'll show you how you can downgrade from that now you can see the iphone that i have here it's an iphone x and so if i was to come to this website uh, and then go to the ipsw file or restore image files you can see here that I can select this iPhone X and boom, it will automatically start to download. You can see the IPSW file has started to download for my iPhone. But since I had already downloaded this, you can see that will be like a duplicate. You can see this one has already downloaded. So once you've downloaded this file, you can then go into your finder on your Mac. So you see my finder is open, click your iPhone, that you want to downgrade and then you see here you have the option to check for an update now you don't want to just click check for an update right away if you want to do this make sure you first back up your iphone completely to your computer or to your mac just in case because you never know what might happen some of your data might not transfer over and it's always better to be safe so once you do back up your device you see when you want to click where it says check for update hold the option key so hold the option key here and then click where it says check for an update so you can see once you do that it gives you this option where you can choose a file that you want to upgrade to and since i've downloaded this file that you see iphone and uh, this is the one that is ios 15.7 if you click on it and then you see you have the option to open up the file and instead of upgrading to the like next beta you actually in a sense be downgrading to ios 15.7 since that's the file that we downloaded so click open and then 
you can see that your Mac will update your iPhone to iOS 15.7 and will verify the update with Apple. Now, this is downloading this using the official Apple website. So it's not a sketchy website. And you can see, even though we are actually on uh, like a newer version of iOS 16.1, we are, our Mac says we are going to be upgrading, but in a sense, we are downgrading our device to iOS 15.7, as you can see there. So that is 100% guaranteed to work. And then once a more stable beta or build of ios 16.1 comes out for example 16.1 beta 2 uh, most probably this issue will be resolved over the air and you don't have to go through the hassle of having to downgrade your device or connecting it to your mac in order to do this so once you do that you can upgrade and i guarantee you 100 percent that this bug where you are unable to update your device is going to be resolved now that's how you do it if you like this video and found it helpful in a way do leave a like and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace